Hirochika Bamboo is one of the most famous burlesque performers in 21st century Japan. She is at the tip of the spear of the burlesque revival that has swept the world, what is called neo burlesque in Japan. She arrived in Germany in 2011 with her four year old daughter, fleeing the Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster. She has now made Berlin her new home. I am interested in what it was like in the early days in Japan, how she got started, and what she plans to do now. So, Erochika has invited me to breakfast. I'm standing on the street before her house looking for the bell for her apartment.、Uh, let's see, she said it's Hinterhof. Hmm, here it is. Okay, bamboo. Good. The door is opening, it's unlocked, and I'm walking through into the courtyard. Walking back through another door, and there before me is her apartment. Her apartment door is slightly open. I open the door and walk in, and I find Urochika in the kitchen. <laughs> so today's about Ava.、Okay. You don't like Ava. I don't like Ava, but you like Ava, so tell no. me. No. I'm、What? not a big fan of ABBA. You're singing it. Because my friend is gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. They love ABBA. Oh, oh, oh okay. Now we're going to generalize. Gay people love ABBA. Yeah? Okay.、Mm -hmm. Good. So tell me about that. Tell me about gay people and ABBA. I don't know. I don't, like, I don't think everybody loves ABBA.、Mm. Even like gay people. I don't know.、Mm. Just my friends. Yeah. They love ABBA. Well, I didn't come here to talk about ABBA. I came here to talk about Arocha Gabambu. And I wanted to know how she got started in burlesque and what makes her such a successful burlesque entertainer. So you were doing Buta and you had to work, and that's how you got into burlesque? Yeah. So what happened? How'd you get into burlesque? This is, that, this is the way we can get the money. For making stage or making props. Didn't you get grants from the government or anything? Or? Also, yes. Yeah.、Mm. We did it.、Um, But did, and who, who went out to get the money? We have some how can I say, section to work, and then this team doing some money stuff. Yeah, but I mean, was it just the girls or was it the boys? Girls, only girls. Sometimes boys, but a boy doesn't have a job.、Mm. And the boy is making a stage job, you know, like as a. How can I say that? To do men's work. Yeah, men's work. Men, not so often. <laughs> not so often. So, so they don't often do anything? No, only girls doing that. And what, what, did, what did the girls do? They're going to cabaret every night, nightclub, and performing, and come back. So they go perform in a cabaret? Yeah, or a yeah. yeah. You yeah. worked with、uh, Neubau? Yeah. Were you, were you in that? I was not there. My、yeah. boy, ex boyfriend was there. Einstritz und Neubauten is an industrial band formed in the early 80s in Berlin. Yeah. And then, but I remember that it was Tokyo. They were shooting in Tokyo. h a l f m i n c h Yeah, h a l f m i n c h Was that a collaborative thing or was it just. It's like a one guy, and he's a director, a very famous director. Was he Japanese? Yeah, Japanese guy, Sogo Ishii. I remember that Noi b a t o n came to our office in Kyoto. I remember their foot, stinky foot. They were stinky feet? <laughs> okay, so this is, this, is, this is interesting. So, who had the stinky feet in Noi b a t o n This is something. That... <laughs> Because, you know, in Japan, we have to take off our shoes. Mm hmm. And then they came to our office <laughs> and have to take off shoes. And they, you know, are going to upstairs. I was just behind them. So, who had the stinky feet?、Uh, 
don't know. All the members are there. So Blixa was Blixa there? Blixa was there, not there. So Blixa didn't other. have stinky feet. Okay, that's Blixa. good to know. <laughs> he couldn't come and I don't know, he was tired or something like that hard. And then other member came. And I was making some props, I think. Yeah. And then they came and they went upstairs. I have to make a tea for them. So I just following them and then, ah! <laughs> so we know that Einheit and Akaka and all the others had stinky feet. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> good, good to know. That's something new. I think good. it has probably never been written. So what were you doing to make money while you were in the Buto company? What you we do? don't get money. What did you do for money, to bring money in? Um, what was your work? Look at burlesque dancer. But first time they asked me, if you want to join the Buto company, you have to do burlesque. I say no, because I really don't like it, mm. stripping somebody um, in front of somebody. Or you don't like taking your clothes in front of people. Yeah, in front of people, yeah, that's what I want to say. Yeah, then, 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 but at the moment I was young and then the people of the company, scary face, I couldn't say no. Because you, you, you were, how old were you? 19, 18. So you were 19 years old or 18 years old when you started being... Pimped for, for, for burlesque. I'm a virgin. A virgin, and they were pimping you out into the. But into also, the yeah. But also, you know, um, the guy said, "How do you know it's good or bad?" I never do it, though. so just you can find out. If you don't like it, you stop it. So he asked. He told me. And I said, "Ah, it's true." That's what I said, and I saw. I'm sorry, this just sounds like any kind of pimp you Come on, darling. Yeah, that way, like a Yakuza or young way. And mm. then, once I say yes, suddenly practice. Like two shows, one night, and then 12 minutes each. Were you good? I have no idea, and I didn't have any costume. I just got all the costume from somebody. At the moment, I was chubby. It doesn't so you had, you, I have to cut it. You you had a little bit more weight. Yeah. Young baby fat. Yeah, fatty, yeah. fatty. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like an out of school student. Yeah, yeah. Not a burlesque dancer. And I hated being like, you know, umalizer, umalizer. Umalizer? What's that mean? <laughs> umalizer? I don't know. Womanizer? I don't know, something like that. Female. Be being a woman, being a female. Oh, you mean like posing and doing all that sort of something like a very um, no girly things. Yeah, do, making body motions yeah. you, that are classic. Yeah, girly or feminine. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> so you, you were the Yahoo girl. Okay. I hate Yahoo girl. <laughs> I hate it. That's why I didn't want to do this. Why? Well, I have to take it off for the man. Kyahu is a word that references Japanese animation, where young girls who dress in Japanese schoolgirl uniforms say kyahu and are considered somewhat erotic by Japanese men. So, but when you did it, how did it, how was the response? Then and they say, I can go to this nightclub, it's far away from Kyoto, and but, you know, transportation is free, food is free. Staying hotel is free, so and you, you can go to many places daytime. You can enjoy this journey, and say, okay, I do. <laughs> so then, first time I was on the stage before, I never wear the high heel. And then, you never wore high heels before you went on stage. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Yeah, that's why yeah. I have to. We have. I have to practice every night. Only three nights I have. Before you first went on. And well, then, you know, they say, they ask me to say to the owners in the club, my career is almost three years. <laughs> That's what I have to say to them. Oh, you told them you'd been doing it for three years to yeah. get into the club? Yeah. My ballast career is three years. So I'm a professional. And when you did it, did they think you were a professional? They don't, they can see, you know, I'm very <laughs> beginner. And? But it's like, um, I, and now once I'm on the stage, I forgot every choreograph. I just remember smiling and take it off. Smiling and take it off. 
I don't know. I got so much money, like a tip. So you got a lot of money from it. For, yeah. You mean tips from the audience? Mm -hmm. How did they give them to you? Did they? Ten euro. I mean, you know, Japanese one thousand yen means ten euro on my bra. Did, or, did you let them put it in your bra? Yeah. Or somebody gave it to me. They hand and hand. And then you hand it. And hand put and it in. Hand, yeah. And then there are piano player there at the club, and then at the backstage he told me, once you started this business, three days, three nights, you can't stop, you can't quit this entertainment world. I'm still doing now. I'm 51. <laughs> so how are you gonna? What's your what's your next career move then? Within the burlesque. Mm, just to keep going, dancing for all, every night, every different place, every night. Yeah? Is it tired? No, I love this. Still? Yeah. I prefer it more than Budo. You prefer this more than art yeah, dance, yeah, or mo yeah, modern art dance, yeah. yeah. Why? Suddenly, I, I find out it's really fun to do the show. What makes it fun? For you, maybe as a as a Japanese person, or just as a woman, or just as a person, whichever. I think, but I think myself, because I never did it before. Yeah. You know, I'm just only painting and then doing. And the first moment I wanted to quit this brutal company, I really hate it. I don't want to go anymore, and I I want to quit. But because I hate my body, I'm chubby, and the audience said to me, "Boo." They did, they, they yeah. said mm to you. Yes, yeah. you, I'm a champion and looks not 1980 years old, looks like an uh, old lady because my makeup is very terrible. <laughs> and the costume is old, you know, and I couldn't you wear had, the you high You old costume and bad makeup. Yeah, bad makeup and uh, no experience. And then, and you were chubby. Yeah, it's like, you're almost like a gang, gang, gangster job and they booked me three months ahead. And some girls ran away from this industry, but I was, I couldn't do this. Because this business is not only me. If I quit, many people have trouble. They have to pay to the cancellation fee. Who? Who has to pay if you quit at the time? Promoter. The promoters. Oh, okay. So you had three months you had yeah. to do. Yeah. Or you, what would have happened if you had quit at that time? I don't know. Would you have been hurt? I have no or, idea. you know, forced? Well, just out of curiosity, you say it's a gangster, it was a gangster world in Tokyo. Kind of. Yeah, I think it is in any of these, I mean, classic, what I think of as strip joints, which is not what you do, because you do burlesque, but I know that strip joints no, this in is Dallas. Company, yes. oh, the, 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 camp, the, oh, it's Yakuza. Yeah, kind of, we yeah. are. Really? Yeah, otherwise. No, no, this is a true story about the Buddha behind the Buddha scene in Japan. Not only our group, other group too. Is it prostitution? It's not a prostitute, like, you know, the cabaret scene, that we are dancer, we have to make a money as a dance, dancer. So one choice is that some group going to the strip joint and some group going to the um, bores in cabaret. So the gangsters feed off of this, this art yeah. Performers, yeah, we are, and get them into stripping and yeah. burlesque. Yeah. And but we didn't think this is a yakuza or gangsta way because this is for art. We need the money. But that's the way they keep you thinking. When actually, yeah. what they're doing is making a lot more money off you than what you did. You figure that out? I think we are controlled. Yeah. Because also make some good art. I mean, stage. We live together like commune. Mm -hmm. um, well, who controls you? Um, is, there, is there somebody who actually you think the, 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 the one, Buto company? Yeah. You have your leader of the Buto yeah, company, yeah. but then there's somebody up above pulling his strings. Leader here, and then you know, like cost. So is he gangster? Gangster? <laughs> well, that's right, because you sued him in the end because of the money, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, we did it. This is also for us. The first time people have ever yeah, done that. in the little world. Yeah, you won. Yeah, after breakup, broke this company, and then 
Only few people still keep going to this burlesque, but everybody changed. Everybody doesn't want to do this anymore. I'm only one, and I want other girl, woman, too, still doing this job. Before they say, yes, we love burlesque, this is a way. And suddenly, no, they didn't like it. And I was shocked, wow, they're a liar. <laughs> but you did like it. But I think I was enjoying burlesque, because it's fun, funny. It's like bee culture, it's so fun. I love it, bee culture. That's mm -hmm. why I keep going to that. I don't mind that you know audience or somebody look at my show and then they feel they feel I'm an art. It's okay, but I don't want to say I'm an artist. The basic things I learned: if you have a good body and a good boobies and butt, doesn't need to move a lot. It's already perfect and beautiful, and the people enjoy that. But me, I'm small, no boobies, you know, I'm Asian, and <laughs> how can I do this? I have to do something more other way, you know, to show people. I think I'm only way I can do is energy show. <laughs> That's I learned from, um, I think, from Budo companies. Really? Yeah. I Could mean, how uh, as a burlesque dancer, not the Budo dancer. Yeah. This is the basic things. We have each body is different type, like a little bit chubby or skinny or tall. But we have, uh, you know, we have only one body for each of us. It's different type. So I have huge complex. I was chubby, and then then I saw, it. and then people say even I'm young. They say I'm old lady, and I saw. It. I have to change my dance style. I can't do like this pretty girl. I can't pretend pretty because it's, I'm not. <laughs> not in that classic yeah, sense. Yeah. yeah. Then I made some comedy stuff, comedy routine, because then I have to do. I have to go to the show every night, three months ahead, always. Then I made some comedy stuff. To do comedy. Comedy burlesque. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly, audience start laughing. And then um, they enjoying my show. But I mean, what I've seen is not comedy. Well, it, it's but it is. I laugh. You start out as a geisha. Yeah. And you have a German singer yeah. singing a Spanish yeah. song in Japanese. Mm. The moment, no. And then you go into this right. Led Zeppelin yeah. routine. Yeah. And it's funny because it's surprising, yeah. not because it's comedy. No, no. Because and then this moment, I was eighteen. I was chubby, and I have no choice to do. Mm. And then this is the only way I can do. If they wanna laugh, okay, laugh me. Mm -hmm. And then I say, I made some like funny comedy, like kind of old lady style. I made the show. <laughs> I don't know what's the old lady show, but I like something like that. And then suddenly the audience uh, give me some woohoo, not no more booing. And then oh. It's okay, okay, this is my way. <laughs> and then I start doing this little comedy stuff. But it was secret because other dancers doesn't like it. They teach me I have to be like more classical and beautiful, good. Do, do the, the champagne glass. Not the champagne glass, yeah. but something like that. Then I couldn't do it. So. And mm. then I find out, oh, it's all right. And the comedy stuff works for me, so I keep going. To be some comedian in it, but less. But then, how did you become right, as yeah? dominant in yeah. Tokyo as you seem to have been? Or you tell me, and it seems to be that you're very well known yeah. within the yeah. scene. Yeah, and then during this rise of right. burlesque. Yeah, and then actually, and then after these comedy things, I getting bored uh, to be a comedian. To get bored yeah. being funny. Yeah. yeah, and then I start, and then I'm enjoying this show. I'm, I was a cabaret dancer, and I hate it, but now I love it. So, and then I changed my mind, and I start losing weight, diet. I did it on diet. I you diet. Yeah, diet. You, 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 yeah, had, yeah. you went on a diet. Yeah, diet, yeah. and then change costume, change makeup. So, are you a lot thinner now than you were then? A little bit thinner than now. Mm. And then um, I show you the cute photo of me. <laughs> So after you, cute. after you, afterwards? After I lose weight. Oh, okay. Very cute. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Very cute. Very cute. Good to be <laughs> I lost 10 kilograms. You lost 10 kilo, yeah. Well. And only three months. And then other group of people going to the went to the tour in European tour. And then I was as a few girls um, have to be walking on the cabaret. So to keep had, things going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the moment I try to lose weight and I makes people surprised. I want it. And then then I got many jobs after after I lose weight and I realized oh now I can enjoy um woman. You can do the lady thing. Yeah, lady didn't. thing. How did you lose weight? I don't eat. Seriously, you just didn't I, eat. I yeah, don't eat and but I had some protein soup. That's it, an apple and then I don't eat any chocolate and then also, you know, exercise. And then also hot baths. Hot really? Could you do that today? Do you think you could do it if you wanted to? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then after the, after the, after bro, uh, Budo broke up, mm -hmm. I still doing these cabaret things and burlesque dancer, and I was looking for a place to dance uh, burlesque, but the cabaret is getting closed because the economy is crashed in Japan, and a huge cabaret is closed. And then I was looking for the place, then I found some gay people loves my show. <laughs> and then I start performing with gay in gay people's gay club, night club. And that's how you got it, the whole ABBA thing that we started yeah, with, which something like is this. why you know gay yeah. people like yeah. ABBA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>